After we finished our bridge components, let's start defining our loads. Let's go for step number four, which named by define loads. For step number four, I'm going to assign the live load. But before understand how to define the live load, let's go first and understand how to define this load on the manual way. Don't forget that our design truck, as we discussed before, is this truck. This, this truck in SAB, it's called HL. Don't forget our design truck as per H2L RFD is this truck. Don't forget there is two types of truck. The first one is the truck 35, 145, 145, 4.3 meter and from 4.3 meter up to 9 meter. This is the first one called design truck. The second one is design tandem as we agreed before. It's two axle load distance between them is 1.8 meter. Let's check this slide and live load. This is our design truck as per Ashto called HL93 in the program. The design one, the different one is tandem, design tandem distance between them 1.8 and distance horizontally is 1.2. So the maximum of this one and the maximum of this one will give me the maximum moment. Don't forget there is a different case if you are working with continuous bridge. In this case, you will apply one truck and one truck, and the distance between them is fixed. In this case, you will take only 0.9 from this case. So, in case of continuous bridge, so you have not simple span as our case. In this case, you will fix it one truck here, but 4.3 and 4.3 not variable like this one from 4.3 up to 9. So after fixing this one and for specific distance between them, you are going to fix it this one also. And based on this case, you are going to take only 0.9 from this load. So our example today is only simple girder. So we'll take the maximum from truck plus uniform load or the maximum of tandem plus uniform load. So let's go back for our example. To understand this by the manual way, we will take the total width from our bridge. Total width from our bridge is 13 meter 0.18. We will extract the new jersey width 0.44 and the new jersey from the other side. The total width will be 12.3 for pavement width. To understand how many design lanes we have for this one, we will divide this lens or this width 12.3 divided by 3.6, which is the design lane as per ashto. If we check the ashto, design lane is 3.6 meter. So after defining this one, we can get how many lanes we can get from this drawing. So 12.3 divided by 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, it will give us 3. Point and so on. Any value less than 4 or less than 3 or less than 2, it will be integral number. So in this case, we have 3 point any number, it will be 3 lanes. 1, 2, 3 design lanes. Based on this design lanes or traffic lanes, I'm going to define the lane load. Lane load for the truck the truck width and the, the structure lane is three meter so i'm going to fix from this new jersey which you're already here 
and start putting my block for the track I have 0.6 from the edge of the road and 0.6 from the edge 0.6 plus 0.6 is 1.2 meter plus 1.8 it will give me 3 meter which is a structure lane based on structure lane I'm going to design my bridge so I will start from my New Jersey first lane for design lane is 3.6 I will start fixing my structure lane 3 meter and after 3 meter I'm going to take this distance from this distance to the, from first tire to the second tire of the uh, other truck 3.6 which is the design lane after I made this arrangement I can calculate how many design trucks will be above the bridge so if we started from this one but 3 meter and from this 3 meter first tire 3.6 design lane I will get the other vehicle and from this one 3.6 I will get the third vehicle and so on I already reflected my New Jersey here and my New Jersey here I found this truck will be out of the bridge so I have three lane load based on three design lane so my bridge will take only one two three lane load based on this one I'm going to define my bridge let's go for define our load first from layout how many lanes you have I have one lane and two lane let's make modify and check the criteria of this lane this is the width as we agreed lane width is three meter but for our case we need to add another lane width so it will be lane one lane two and lane three as per this drawing 